Okay, brace yourself for some drama, because on my trip back from Atlanta, I'm about to show you one of the most tragic things I've ever filmed on the freeway. Here's a good example of how to really cook an automatic transmission in a front-wheel drive Toyota Camry. And I mean cook the hell out of that transmission. Look at there. The front wheel drive, front wheels on the ground, cooking the transmission. Every hard part in that transmission is gonna be destroyed. Okay, so why when I saw that smoke billowing out from underneath that Camry being towed, did I say it's cooking the transmission? How do I know that? Well, the Toyota Camry has a A140 automatic transmission. And in the bell housing here, between the transmission and the engine, is a torque converter. Just like all these other automatic transmissions, that torque converter only spins when the engine is running and it spins the pump. These are all pumps. These happen to be vane type pumps. This is a gear type pump. The torque converter hub goes down in here and turns the gears and the gears circulate the transmission fluid through the transmission. That's an overly simplified explanation, but I don't want this video to be an hour long. Suffice it to say, you need that fluid pressure to apply clutches and move valves and everything that the transmission does, including lubricating these planetaries. All the planetaries, all the ring gears, all the bushings, drums, every hard part in the transmission needs that fluid to be flowing to lubricate it. Normally rebuilding an automatic transmission, you get to reuse most of these hard parts and all the soft parts and other parts might end up costing you 2,000, 3,000 to rebuild an automatic transmission. But if you have a lot of hard parts damage, there's an additional hundreds and possibly thousands of dollars added onto that rebuild. When towing a vehicle, if you do not disconnect the drive shaft, in front wheel drives you got two drive shafts, or tow with the non-drive wheels on the ground, then you're gonna be spinning all these hard parts without spinning the pump and cook everything in the transmission. It's gonna be a prohibitively expensive rebuild. You can even ruin the case. Situations like that, it's best to buy a core and rebuild the core rather than trying to rebuild a transmission that's been cooked from improper towing. These rear wheel drives, they have one drive shaft. This is the output shaft. It'll connect to the drive shaft if you have the rear wheels on the ground and it's going to be spinning this you can disconnect the drive shaft take it out but then of course you're going to lose transmission fluid it's going to pour out the back front wheel drives like that camry the front wheels should not be on the ground because they're connected to the axles it's going to be spinning the transmission and cooking it like what you just saw you would have to remove both drive shafts then fluid's going to come out then the ends of those drive shafts that go through the hub bearings they hold the hub bearings together so the hub bearings could come apart and the wheels could come off so you just don't tow front wheel drive cars with the front wheels on the ground. And since there's so many all wheel drive vehicles around now, <laughs> you don't want any of those wheels touching the ground. This is why so many of your relatives that know a little bit about cars insist on you insisting when your car is towed on having it towed on a flatbed, a full size trailer, and they tell you to avoid dolly towing or any kind of towing where any of the wheels are on the ground. So you might be saying, why do I see people pulling cars around on RVs with all four wheels on the ground? Well, they buy and have installed special pumps that pump the fluid around. And I still don't even agree with that because I think that still puts, it doesn't destroy the transmission right away like this does, but it still puts a lot of wear and tear on the vehicle. You're still adding miles to the vehicle because the wheels are turning as you're towing it behind the RV. But at least they have done something, bought something and installed it that prevents what you saw with that Camry being towed with the front wheels on the ground and the smoke just billowing all everywhere while they cook the heck out of the transmission in that car. Hey, if you like this video, we got a whole lot more. We've got tool reviews, we've got repair videos, we've got show car videos, hot rods, mod rods, you name it. If it's got wheels on it and an engine, it's probably on this channel. So subscribe, like, and Watch, 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 watch,